Hi and welcome to this introductory lesson. In this video we're going to talk about how to strum a guitar with only your fingers. We are not going to be using a pick in this lesson to open up the possibilities in your right hand technique, particularly in classical and flamenco guitar playing. So let's get started. Let's start with a down strum, which is the most important strum in guitar music. And there's a couple different ways that we can do this down strum. We need at least two fingers on our strumming hand. So I'm right handed. So this is my strumming hand is my right hand. We can use either a combination of the middle and ring finger or a combination of the index and middle finger. And I actually use both and it depends on the context of whatever music I'm playing. So I recommend as you try these strums to try both combinations and see which one you prefer. Most of the time I use the middle and ring finger combination, but if I'm going really fast, I actually prefer to use the index middle combination. The most important thing to remember about strumming is that we do not use the entire arm to strum. This is a waste of energy and a waste of time. We cannot play fast if we use our entire arm. I can only move about this fast. But if we keep the movement small and refined, we can move at very fast speeds. The mechanic of this technique comes from a rotation of the forearm. And the best way to think of this is if you turn a doorknob. That is the same muscle group and the same movement of your arm that we need to strum a guitar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the middle and ring finger on our strumming hand. And all I'm going to do is twist. You see I'm not using the entire arm. My shoulder is relaxed. And all I'm doing is rotating and my fingers graze the strings on the way down. So down, 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 down. Nice and relaxed. Down, 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 down. To do an up strum, we reverse the movement of the down strum. So let's say I just did a down. My fingers are down here. I'm going to take the back of my thumb and I'm going to reverse the rotation. So the back of my thumb hits the strings on the way up. So we have a down and we have an up. Down with middle and ring, up with the thumb. Down with the fingers, up with the thumb. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. So we're going to hold a simple chord. In this case, we're going to hold an E minor chord. So your middle finger is on the second fret of the A string, so we have this note. And then your ring finger is the second fret on the D string. So we have this note. All the other strings are open. So you have a down and an up. Put it to a simple exercise and we're going to use groups of three strums and the first strum of each group is going to be accented and an accent means that we're going to play that strum a little bit louder compared to the other two so the first strum of each group of three strums will be accented so it'll be one two three one two three one two three one two three and all we're going to do is we're just going to go down and up alternating down and up strums. So if I do this, it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's what makes this exercise interesting, is that you see the first time I did a down strum, that was one. So we had one, two, three. But my next one, my next accent comes on an up strum. One, 
two, three. So each time a new group of strums comes up in the exercise, we change the direction of the strum. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this helps you feel this sort of triplet rhythm internally, as well as get your strums really comfortable. So let's put it to our E minor. And let's try this triplet feel with the accent on the first strum. So we're gonna have one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So you can hear my accent is on the first strum of each set of three strums. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now that you understand how to strum with the fingers as well as how to feel accents and a rhythm, now let's apply it to a musical example. In this case, we're going to use the flamenco palo known as rumba. And rumba is known as a cante de ida y vuelta and it was a style of flamenco that originally came from Cuba, when the Spanish explorers brought the music back to Spain after the colonization of the Caribbean islands. And rumba is in four time, similar to pop music and rock music, but what defines the rhythm is an accent on the and of beat two. So if I were to count this, it would be one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and. So let's put this to an easy chord progression and an easy strumming pattern to help you comprehend this style of music. Let's start with the chord progression of this rumba. The first chord we're going to need is an A minor chord, which looks and sounds like this. So your middle finger is on the second fret of the D string. Your ring finger is 2nd fret on the G string, and your pointer finger is 1st fret on the B string. And that's your A minor. The next chord we're going to need is a G7 chord, which looks and sounds like this. And this one might be a little bit of a stretch, especially if you're a beginner. So take this one nice and slow. First we need our ring finger on the 3rd fret of the 6th string for this note. Then we need your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the A for this note. And then your pointer finger on the 1st fret of the 1st string for this note. That is G7. The next chord we need is a variation of an F chord. And I know some of you might be a little scared right now, but we are not going to be playing the bar chord of F. We're going to be using this voicing, very typical in flamenco music, where we have our B and E strings are open. To give us this very flamenco, very Spanish sounding variation of an F chord. So here I need my pointer finger on the 1st fret of the 6th string for this note. Then you need your ring finger, 3rd fret on the A string for this note. Next we need the pinky finger on the 3rd fret of the D string for this note. And finally we need our middle finger on the 2nd fret of the G string. And this is not a bar chord, so your B and E strings are open. And if I strum the chord slowly, it sounds like this. And that is your flamenco style F chord. 
The last chord we need is an E major chord. And if you already know A minor, which we did before, all we have to do is take each finger and move it towards us one string each. So now my middle finger is on the second fret of the A string. My ring finger is second fret on the D string. And my pointer finger is first fret on the G string. So same shape as A minor, but the shape is moved over one string each. And that is E major. Now that you know the chords that we need for the rumba, now let's talk about a strumming pattern we can use. In this case, I'm going to use a down, up, down, up, up, down, up progression. So let's start on an A minor chord. That's our first chord. It's going to sound like this. We have down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And if we count this, it's one and two. If you want to make this rumba much more authentic, have that two and accented. So one and two and three and four and. And then you have the typical rumba group. So we're going to do two cycles of the strum on each chord, and then we're going to switch. So we're going to have, starting on A minor, we're going to have down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Switch to G7. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Switch to our flamenco style F chord. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then finally we switch to our E major chord. Same thing. Down, up, down, up. is the entire rumba and then you can loop this as long as you want so let me play it for you start the finish without stopping and I'll count it for you so starting on a minor we have down up down up up down up down up down up up down up simple rumba that allows you to focus on your right hand technique as well as try and get that accent on the two and in there.